let the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable in thy sight o lord our rock and our redeemer amen please be seated chap matthew chapter 21 verses from 28 to 32 the parable of two sons as spoken by our lord jesus christ here we see father who wants a vineyard asking his son to go to the vineyard and work here we see he is not asking the servants to go and work in the vineyard he wants he must have been having lot of servants at his command he could have asked them to go and work in the vineyard for him but he selects his sons and asks them to go and work in the vineyard so we take it as a privilege love and affection that the father has shown to his son or the concern he has over the children to inherit the vineyard that's what we see likewise the world that we live in is the vineyard of god father lord god is asking his own children to do the work in the vineyard some of us think that it is the job of pastors some may think that it's uh, uh, the work of evangelists or the job of evangelists but it is a stewardship given to the children of god that part of the lesson explains who enters the kingdom of god those who obey the call in our context we can say those who obey the call of the gospel this call of the gospel is the ministry we can see so many examples you know in the, in our bible of people especially when we say he is asking his sons to go and uh, work in the vineyard some say it's not the job of women but in the bible we see how women have worked for the lord for example queen esther esther chapter 8 verse 3 to 7 where we see she single handedly fought with the king with king zerxes saying how can i see disaster fall on jews my people she is fighting for the people her own people jews with the king mary the first to do, to declare the rising of jesus from death to disciples it was she who went and told the good news to the disciples likewise in our own times we see women of great vision who worked for the lord in our own times pandita rama bai for example she was a great revolutionary and then amy carmichael of 
uh, who worked in for women, women's liberation and for destitute women in Donauer Fellowship. Then Ida, Dr. Ida Scudder, who established CMC Hospital. Another great service for the Lord. Then Mother Teresa, who worked for the downtrodden and underprivileged in the gutters of Calcutta. Gladys Thames. These are uh, women, great women of our times, who were called by God to work in his vineyard, and they have successfully worked for the Lord. We need to obey God's call. Adam was created in God's own image. But we see in the Bible, when he disobeyed God's command, he was chased out of the garden. But at the same time, we also see Noah, who obeyed God's word sincerely. You see in Genesis 6, 7 and 8 chapters, as to how he made the ark listening to God's command. Even though he went through a lot of uh, criticism, objections from the people around him, he simply obeyed the voice of God and made the ark. So, here we see God using men to carry out his work. Can he not carry out his work through angels? Like the father in the parable who asked his own sons only to go and work in his vineyard. Because only a sick man healed can go and bear witness about the doctor because he has experienced the healing. See, in Bible we see Cornelius prayed. God sends an angel to advise him to send for Peter. Again here we see it's not an angel who directly uh, speaks to Cornelius. The angel speaks to Cornelius to send a word to Peter because Peter was there. He was prepared by the Lord to preach the gospel to the Gentiles. Acts chapter 10. We see how gospel is preached to Gentiles. How the Holy Spirit falls on the Gentiles. But first, Peter was reluctant to go. To go and speak to the Gentiles. But God made him to go. But he obeyed, went there, and he spoke to the Gentiles. Again, we see in Philip, Acts chapter 8, angel of the Lord asking him to go and speak to the Ethiopian eunuch. It's not, uh, he is not sending the, his angel to go and directly speak to the eunuch. He is sending Philip to go and talk to him and to witness to an Ethiopian, Ethiopian eunuch. And uh, we know the story as to how Ethiopian eunuch was changed. Holy Spirit was poured on him. Then we know Saul's conversion as recorded in Acts chapter 9. There we see Ananias was sent to speak to Saul. He was also reluctant to go because he knows 
how Saul was persecuting the Christians. But he was sent, and we know how Saul was converted to Paul, and great miracles happened in the work of the Lord. In our own times, we see Sadhu Sundar Singh, the angel talking to him to go and speak to people who were uh, ready to commit uh, even uh, suicide. Angel speaks to such people and uh, likewise we see both of them praying for each other at the same time angel disappears from the scene. God wants to use his children but we should do the work with love and willingness. That is very important. And not as paid servants. We are, nowadays we see a lot of people in the name of evangelism con convening a lot of uh, crusades, miracle meetings, so many things. It happened even in our own times in Marina where we used to see in Sir, there was one Sirani Arangam in Marina where we used to have a lot of meetings taking place. It's all uh, not God wanted us to do. Let us listen to God's call and become his disciples. Wherever he sends, we must be prepared to go. That's what we sing in the song, Trust and Obey. Where he sends, we will go. That should be our preparedness to go wherever God shows us the way. John 15, 7 and 8, where there we see the Father's glory. John 13, 35, you will bear much fruit. Men will come to know you, or you are his disciples. Luke 14, 27, the characteristics of disciple is shown as bearing the cross. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, it's a very interesting chapter where from, uh, from verse 16 onwards as to how we should go about doing the evangelical work is given very clearly in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9 from verse 16 onwards. Paul very clearly emphasizes the need for evangelism and as to how we should do it. Even he goes to the extent of saying, woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. Suvisheshate arivika vital yanak ayyo Tamil abhuda potrik. The call is very, very clear. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8 says, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Isaiah says, here I am, send me. We should obey like Noah, work in all honesty and sincerely. As far as we, the children of God, placed in a nation like India, India is our vineyard. Harvest is plenty. We know India is a land of philosophies. It's very difficult to take the gospel to the people of India. But our earlier missionaries have done it with great difficulty. They have taken the gospel to the people of India. So the call is very clear for us as children of God 
placed in a country like India. Here I would like to point out uh, an incident which took place long back in India when uh, our Prime Minister was Pandit Nehru. This, uh, this was recorded by John Hagai in his book Leading Edge. He is recording uh, uh, an incident which took place between Bob Pierce, the founder of World Vision. They were the people who were involved in missionary work in India. And he was meeting Pandit Nehru. Bob Pierce was meeting Pandit Nehru. This, was, this has happened in 1955. Uh, when they were uh, speaking with each other, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, I believe, asked Bob Pierce, founder and president of World Vision, do you believe that Christianity is self-propagating? This is uh, a question that uh, famous historian Nehru put to, he knows the history of Christianity. So he asked uh, Bob Pierce, do you believe that Christianity is self-propagating? Bob responded with an emphatic, of course. Are you aware, Dr. Pierce, the next question, that the Apostle Thomas brought Christianity to Indian Malabar coast in 52 AD, first century? Then Bob Pierce says, yes, I am aware and also aware that he died in Madras as a martyr. That's correct. Now my question is, Nehru asks, if Christianity is self-propagating, and if Christianity came to India more than 1,900 years ago, why is it you found it necessary to propagate up your religion with 9,000 foreign missionaries today? This is the question he asked to Bob Pierce, the founder of World Vision. The same question still stands before us. Do we still wait for missionaries to come from foreign countries to work for us? Or are we ready to go and work in God's vineyard? In other words, the evangelism or outreach work. Take for example our own church. We do a lot of uh, outreach work in our own church. We are very proud of it. We are reaching out to people in Santoshnaga. We are inviting those people for uh, Tamil uh, Bible school, then we conduct a um, tuition center for them. Such a reaching out activities are taking place in our church as part of our evangelical work. We need to more, we need to do more. We have also constructed many rural churches like Manapakam rural churches in Manapakam, Mathur near Madhurandakam, Thervali near Bumudipundi, Pulikundram near uh, Andhra Pradesh, Satyavedu. So many we have built uh, the rural churches. These are all the work that we have done to reach out to people. Praise God for it. A reward is a recompense. Jesus said, he that reaps receives wages and gathers fruit unto life eternal. John 4, 36. What a joy there will be in the presence of the Lord at his coming when the sheaves are gathered 
in when the final harvest is completed. As we go forth into the harvest fields, preaching the gospel of Christ, we are gathering fruit unto life eternal. Then when the Lord of the harvest appears, sowers and reapers will together receive their wages. Now let us look into the last words of the gospel uh, found in uh, Matthew 28, um, chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. Here we find a binding command given by the crucified and risen Christ Jesus. The disciples are commanded to make disciples to teach and to baptize. You may observe a wonderful coherence in the words of Jesus. Jesus uses. Jesus has all the power here on earth. He had already been given all things by his father. Matthew eleven twenty-seven. 27. Now he gives to his powerless disciples a part in his serving power. They are not to use his power to harm anyone or to benefit themselves, but for Jesus' sake and for the benefit of their neighbors. In other words, to, to reach out to people. They are to make disciples of all nations. The task is still not complete. There are still people who have never had the good news about Jesus accurately, even in so-called Christian countries. In a way, we can also call ourselves a Christian country. Christianity is as old as the first century AD. We have so much freedom to propagate our faith. The task is a corporate one. No individual disciple can reach everybody. But every disciple can reach some. In that way, everybody can be reached. We will be failing in our duty if we don't share the work in his vineyard. India, our motherland of varied cultures and religions, is our vineyard. And our task is to reach out the people who are yet to know the gospel, know our Lord, and it is time for us. Time is very short, as we say. I would like to close my meditation with a song which we sang in our praise and worship in one of our morning worship service. The song goes like this. Maunamayirukade Maunamayirukade Idu sindikkum kalam Seyal padum neram Maunamayirukade Idu sindikkum kalam Seyal padum neram Maunamayirukade 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 Idu sindikkum kalam Seyal padum neram Maunamayirukade Aruvadai kalatil maunamayirundal Aruvadai idapaye Andavar kalatil maunamayirundal 
ஆத்துமாயிழப்பாயே இது சிந்திக்கும் காலம் செயல்படும் நேரம் மௌனமாயிருக்காதே 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 இது சிந்திக்கும் காலம் செயல்படும் நேரம் மௌனமாயிருக்காதே பகட்டு வாழ்வோ பரமனின் அன்போ எது உன்னை இழுக்கின்றது பகட்டு வாழ்வோ பரமனின் அன்போ எது உன்னை இழுக்கின்றது கணக்கு கேட்கும் கர்த்தர் வருவார் வெறும் கையாய் நேர்ப்பாயோ கணக்கு கேட்கும் கர்த்தர் வருவார் வெறும் கையாய் நிற்பாயோ மௌனமாயிருக்காதே மௌனமாயிருக்காதே இது சிந்திக்கும் காலம் செயல்படும் நேரம் மௌனமாயிருக்காதே இந்தியா இயேசுவை அறியும் காலம் இதுதான் இதுதானே இந்த காலத்தில் மௌனமாயிருந்தால் ரட்சிப்பு தான் வருமோ இது சிந்திக்கும் காலம் செயல்படும் நேரம் மௌனமாயிருக்காதே இது சிந்திக்கும் காலம் செயல்படும் நேரம் மௌனமாயிருக்காதே சோடியா ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் லெட்டஸ் ஷேர் த விஷன் ஆஃப் த மாஸ்டர் ரீப்பர் லெட்டஸ் ஃபாலோ இன் இஸ் ஃபுட் ஸ்டெப்ஸ் let us engage in this operation outreach and gather in the harvest before christ returns and the, this age is closes amen <laughs>